I made more than $100 in sales by working for about half an hour and some scientific thinking and you can do this too. I want to tell you the story of what happened. Okay. Okay. So here's the thing. Few years back, I got a lot of comments on my YouTube channel saying that, sir, we need a course from you. Please build physics courses. We'll buy it. And so I said, cool. So I spent a lot of time and created physics courses and uploaded them. You, you did me. And I didn't get sales for a long time. I did not use scientific thinking. Here's what happened. The thing is, I made a hypothesis. The hypothesis that I made was if I make a course, people will buy it. As simple as that. And you might think that, what are you talking about? But this is the hypothesis I made before making the course. And guess what? I didn't even try to think about testing that hypothesis. I didn't do it. I didn't test the hypothesis. I just went ahead, built the course, wishful thinking, and yeah, uh, didn't get sales for a long time. I did get sales a little bit later, but I could have done it better. So this time, this time when I started writing on LinkedIn, something very similar happened, but this time I thought of doing something differently. So what happened? A few months back, I started creating cartoon carousels. I've been writing in LinkedIn for such a long time, but then I started creating these carousels and you can see the waves just skyrocketed. It, then, then I got sick and I was traveling and I just couldn't get back to it. But this happened mostly because my post started going viral. You can see I got about 5,000 about half a million impressions, about 190,000 impressions, 187,000 compressions. Needless to say, I realized that these cartoon carousels were work working. And not just that, these were not just empty um, empty views. I, even my followers, you can see, simply started, started skyrocketing. I started getting a lot of things. And again, something very similar happened. I got a lot of messages asking for, from folks who asked me, hey, how do you do these cartoon carousels? They're amazing, would love to learn about it and all of that. And I was thinking, hmm, maybe I should make a quick course because people are asking for it. But this time, this time I had learned my lesson. I realized that, hey, you know what? I was again making the same hypothesis that if I make a course on creating cartoon carousels, people will buy it. But this time I thought of testing that hypothesis. And how do you test a hypothesis? And this is, this is the most important part when it comes to scientific thinking, okay? How do you test this hypothesis? Okay, and in both my hands for effects, you try to disprove your hypothesis. That's what science is all about. And that's the thing that human beings, we just don't do it intuitively. Intuitively, you want to be right. You want to be right about the things, your, your guessworks and your hypothesis, but science is about pursuing the truth. And we know that human brains can have a lot of cognitive biases. So if you really want to do science and be in pursuit of truth, whatever guesswork you do, whatever hypothesis that you make, your goal next should be try and disprove it. And only when you cannot disprove it, that's when you start saying that hmm, maybe this hypothesis makes sense. So I was not thinking about, I have made the hypothesis that people will buy my course if I create that course. How can I try and disprove it? That's the question I was, I was wondering about. And the easiest way of disproving it, I thought was, hey, you know what? Let me create a landing page for that course. All right. And I'll ask folks to pre-order. Now, if not a single person in my entire network is willing to pay for, for pre-ordering it at a discount, if not a single person wants to do that, I thought that that's going to be enough evidence for me <laughs> that nobody will buy a course and I shouldn't be building this course. So this time I was doing scientific thinking. So. I just went ahead and started creating a landing page. So what I did is I went to gumroad.com. It's a pretty good site. I didn't even know about it, but I, you know, I've been following a lot of creators on LinkedIn and some of them had recommended that. And I just like wrote down whatever I think should include. So I included everything that I could think of and then I got some feedback and I started editing it and all of that. And I, I think I built a pretty decent landing page and I asked folks to pre-order, pre-order for, 9.99 if you can see that right and i made it live and then i made another carousel post of just just like a quick tutorial on how i build my um a short tutorial on like how i build these uh, cartoon characters and then i put a call to action saying that hey you know what if you're interested in buying this course you can pre-order this and i did that and i went on my vacation <laughs> i did not think that anyone would buy my course um but but to my surprise people did start people started buying it I got a few sales um, immediately after on that day itself. Then I started getting a few more sales. I started getting some messages asking for clarifications and all of that. And that's how I realized, hey, you know what? People are really interested in this. And so all, it, all the time it took me till now is about 30 minutes, 30, 33 minutes to build a landing page. And in that 30 minutes, I tested my hypothesis that 
people are willing to buy that course. Now, of course, of course, I didn't think too much about like how many people should be buying that course, revenue, and how much should I be generating, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to do that. I just like, I just wanted to have some fun. Um, I just wanted to share whatever I know. And I was just like wanting to do it a little bit more scientifically. All right. So this technique, this whatever I just did, there's a scientific name to it in the business community. It's called building an MVP. M stands for minimum viable product. So minimum means what is the minimum thing that you need to build in order to get it out there. Viable basically means what is the minimum feature that it needs for you to get the feedback that you are looking for before you start building the product. So my landing page was basically my minimum viable product because if I want to test whether people are going to buy my course, all I needed to know is whether people would hit that buy button. And so the, my minimum viable product is a landing page. And a lot of you folks now might be thinking, hey, this is a common knowledge, Mahesh. MVP is something not new, but a lot of people, like I didn't know about MVPs a few years back. So I'm also, I'm, I'm wondering that there will be people out there who doesn't know about MVP. But guess what? This MVP, where does it come from? It comes from scientific thinking. It comes from this idea of building hypothesis and trying to quickly test it and, 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 and try to disprove it. So that's why I think scientific thinking is such a powerful thing that you can apply to almost every area of your life especially in your careers, but not just that, parenting, relationships, and big career deci big decisions in your life. And that's why I always say, that's why I always think that whenever you're learning science in schools, you're learning science not because you want to apply Newton's laws of physics, or you want to apply chemistry somewhere, but there are excuses to learn scientific thinking, um, a framework that humanity has developed of figuring out the truth. And by the way, that course is still up for pre-order if you want to buy call to action. Okay, if you're interested and if you want details, is there on my homepage. You can just go to my homepage, click on Grow 10x with Cartoon Carousals. Um, and yeah, if you're interested, then just look at all the stuff that it has and yeah, support me. By the way, after March 15th, um, it's going to be 24.99. All right, see you, see you, see you. Bye, 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 bye.